SummerSlam 1991 would mark the last appearance of the Ultimate Warrior inside a WWE ring for nearly eight months. Exploding back into the spotlight in 1992, the Ultimate Warrior stormed through all who dared challenge his intensity. The Macho Man Randy Savage is better than the best. It was Warrior's rivalry with the Macho Man Randy Savage, however, that would soon manifest into a much needed alliance. What you see across the back of this Macho Man is the bondage of the Ultimate Maniacs. We are the Ultimate Maniacs and we are Ultimate Survivors. But as the Ultimate Maniacs rocketed to the top in WWE, without warning, Ultimate Warrior would once again vanish. There were rumors just yesterday that the Ultimate Warrior would not be at Survivor Series. He would not team up with the Macho Man Randy Savage. And unfortunately, we can confirm that that is correct. Now, after nearly a four-year absence, the Ultimate Warrior makes his long-awaited return to battle Hunter Hearst Helmsley on the grandest stage of them all, WrestleMania 12. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. About to come down the aisle from Greenwich, Connecticut, weighing 246 pounds, Hunter Hurst Helmsley. Hunter Hurst Helmsley with a look of disdain for this capacity crowd. Yeah, and speaking of looks, what will the Ultimate Warrior look like? I got a tip right before WrestleMania that he's up to 400 pounds and bald. his return to WWE from Parts Unknown, weighing 260 pounds, the Ultimate Warrior! Unbelievable. If you look at the amazing physical condition of the Ultimate Warrior, 400 pounds and bald, huh, King? Huge match here at WrestleMania 12. There you see the ultimate warrior. He is ready to fight. Yeah, he's gonna have a oh. work cut out for him. As you can see there, Hunter Hearst Helmsley from behind. Hunter hammered away on Warrior. Wait a minute, this match has not even started. What's, what's Helmsley doing? Well, I think it's great strategy, King. Get Warrior before he gets rolling. But Warrior ducks the close line. Oh, that kick in the gut looks like Helmsley's going for the pedigree. Oh, and there it is, a pedigree by Hunter Hearst Helmsley. But, ah! Look at the Warrior! Hunter Hurst tells me he can't believe it. Warrior stood right up after that devastating pedigree. It's as if he's uh, Superman or something. And now, Warrior on the attack. Here he comes! Man, there's no getting up 
from that. Man, this one might be over before it even starts, Cole. Warrior looks to be making up for lost time going right. The Ultimate Warrior is back in a major way. And I'm not so sure Hemsley knows what hit him, Cole. Look at him. An emotional victory here tonight. Man, oh man, what a battle. legacy was that of a trailblazer. The relationship between Warrior and the WWE Universe was a once-in-a-lifetime phenomenon. The power of the Ultimate Warrior is something that you want to feel, that you want to taste. He came in and changed the game, really made us all, whoa, look at this guy. He just screamed excitement. Felt the power that makes that guys rumble. He was just on fire all the time. You couldn't help but be inspired by his energy. The Ultimate Warrior has stood the test of time. He's part of history. After an 18-year absence, the Ultimate Warrior returned to WWE and took his rightful place in the 2014 Hall of Fame class. Tragically, the Ultimate Warrior passed away just days after his Hall of Fame induction. But in true warrior fashion, he left the WWE Universe with a strong final message. Every man's heart one day beats its final beat. His lungs breathe their final breath. And if what that man did in his life makes the blood pulse through the body of others and makes them believe deeper in something than larger than life, then his essence, his spirit, the running the man did, live forever. I am Ultimate Warrior. You are the Ultimate Warrior fans. And the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever.